Okay, it is time to look at heat problems with no temperature change. Are you ready? Okay, so how many joules of heat are needed to boil 50 grams of water? Let's pull up what we need. All right, so I need some formulas. So here is, you know, my handy dandy reference table. Excuse my cat, how rude. Okay, so I look at the heat formulas for boiling. Well, it does not talk about temperature change, so I can't use this one. All right, so boiling. Well, I don't see boiling anywhere here, but boiling means going from a liquid to a gas. A gas is a vapor, so heat of vaporization. So I'm going to use this formula. So let's go back and write the formula. So Q equals mHV. Write my list of variables. Q, M, H, V. What is the problem? Give me 50 grams. Heat or Q is what I'm trying to find. Well, I can't have a second variable. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Table B, look at this, heat of vaporization. It works for water. So do you see the problem says water? So this works. If it wasn't water, they'd have to give it to me. So 2,260. So 2,260 2, joules per gram. So let's write it up. Mass, 50 grams times the heat of vaporization, 2,260 joules per gram. Now, when it's per gram, I'm going to write it slightly differently for a second. 2,260 joules. The per means it's really underneath, so like this, okay? So that means I'm going to be able to cross out grams left with joules, which is a unit for heat. So now let's do the math. 50 times 2,260 Q is 113,000 joules. Voila. All right, let's look at the next one. How many joules of heat are needed to boil 59.8 grams of ethanol? And it gives us the heat of vaporization. Why does it have to give us the heat of vaporization? Well, because it wasn't water. My reference table only gives me the heat of vaporization of water. So I'm going to be using the same formula, Q equals mHV, okay? Write my list of variables, 59.8 grams, 854 joules per gram, okay, plug it in, 59.8 grams. Remember, when it's joules per gram, 854 joules the per means it's underneath, which allowed me to cross out grams, left with joules. Last step is to do the math. 59.8 times 854 is 51,069.2 joules. So let's talk significant figures. 3 and 30 from my problem. So 1, 2, 3. I look at the 6. What does the six tell me to do? Round up. So Q equals five, one, one. And now I have to fill in zeros. I only fill in zeros until I get to the decimal point. So zero, zero joules. So 51,100 joules. And that is how you use the heat of vaporization formula. I hope you learned something new today.